Hello everyone, I'm Nithi Kauri and in this video we will see how to do the necessary configurations with respect to test coverage and defect mapping or traceability. So let's get started. In the previous section we saw how to do test execution. Now is the time to look into two more important configurations that will be required for full test management. So for that I will go to the project settings on the bottom left of the screen. Let's click it. Here under the apps section, I have an option called X-ray settings. Let's click on it. Okay, so if you remember, while we were installing the app, we did a configuration to add the issue types. Now, the other two important ones are first is test coverage. That is with this configuration, we are providing an information to X-ray that these issue types should be considered as requirements to our project and we would like to have it covered with the test executions okay so for me i consider story and epic as the requirement issue types so i will add them over here under coverable issue types now if you do a save i would be able to see how much this story is covered or this epic is covered through test cases and test runs let's have a look into the test coverage hierarchy so if we click this checkbox it means that when this option is enabled x-ray will consider all the child issues that are associated with the epics that is it will also consider stories and other issue types associated with epics for coverage but these child issues should still be mapped with test coverage issue that is they should be configured as coverable issue types similarly issue subtasks relation if we enable this relation it means that x-ray will consider all the subtask issues for coverage but again, the issue types and the subtask issue types must be mapped as test coverage issue types. That is, they should be under coverable issue types. Okay, so let's save it over here. Let's open this one. If we see that after we are done with the coverage configuration, we are able to see this tab test coverage under the story types so if i click on that i get a test coverage detail section over here which tells me that this particular story is covered by a test case test the conditions functionality and the status for it is passed which says that this requirement is tested by the test case cm18 and all of its functionality is covered by tests they can be one or many okay let's just open it as we can see this is the test case which covers our story and if i click on the test runs it will show me all the test runs that have happened for this particular test case okay so this was how we do coverage configuration and the benefit of using it we will also see its benefit while we will be discussing what all reports are provided by X-Ray. Now I will again move back to project settings. Go to the apps, select X-Ray settings. Another important configuration which we would like to do is defect mapping. That is, I would like to specify which issue type would be considered as a defect while running my test execution okay so here i think i will consider bug as a defect issue type and i'll save it now let's go back to a project backlog okay and let's select one of the test executions and let's open this test execution now let's say while Working on this test execution, I would like to log a defect. I'll just click over here, create a defect. Now, as we can see, the issue type that got selected automatically over here is bug because we 
selected bug while doing the configuration for defects. Okay, let's cancel it and once again change back the settings for defect mapping. And let's say this time I am removing bug from here and saving it. Now let's go back to the same execution, refresh it and try to create the defect once again. As we can see, the issue type now got selected is not bug but any other random issue type. So this happened because of the configuration changes we made. So other benefits which we see after configuring defect mapping is when we generate reports in X-Ray. So these were the two important configurations which I wanted to discuss as a part of this X-Ray series. Let's move to the next video.